Well, Crop Cam is an unmanned vehicle. It has an autopilot in it. It's able to fly itself and land itself based on pre-programmed flight paths. Uh, the waypoints, when it flies around, it has waypoints where it ends up taking the pictures you want. When it's done flying its flight path, it comes back and lands right where it took off. Right now, we're using it to capture images in order to help scout our fields. We can use the, we're using off-the-shelf technology, uh, Pentax Optio camera with RGB cape red, green, blue spectrums, and we are able to manipulate that at this point in time to vary our rate of nitrogen. Uh, I've used it on my farm. I farm 1,500 acres in north central Idaho, and it helped me with elk damage this year to verify it use the images to help verify what the yield monitor saw and where the flags were dropped. It would be very similar to the damage done by hail and uh, there's other things that in corn it could be used to see how big the area size is for blowdown damage. So right now we're just basically bridging the gap between the military and civilian markets. We're on the very cutting edge of this technology and trying to keep it inexpensive by using off-the-shelf technology. Um, we are just getting started on what we can do with the product. I believe that this product, PropCam, is ideal for retailers because it can, one, cut down on scout time. With this, you are able to fly when the weather is good, no delays, no scheduling, you have a higher resolution, about a six inch pixel size, than you would normally get with an airplane or a satellite. So if a rainstorm came through, ended up quitting, take the plane, go out and fly the field you need to. It can cover a section a square mile in about 25 minutes. And so a retailer would be able to be working with the images in about an hour. Okay, it has a GPS antenna on it, and the flight program is pre-programmed in there. From your uh, computer, you load it into the autopilot, and from there, you launch the plane, and it ends up flying the pre-programmed flight path. So you would end up setting up a flight path ahead of time by images or shape files downloaded into the computer. Right here is the camera we use. It's a Pentax Optio A20, about 10 megapixel. And the resolution we are able to receive with the images we have depends upon the altitude we are flying. I have found out that about a 900 foot altitude is the optimum uh, level to be flying at because that gives us our best resolution and the fewest pictures to be working with. You're looking at the total cost with training, the plane, the software to fly it, of about between ten to eleven thousand dollars.